we're in one of our multi-span tunnels here. This is the first one we put up, so it's called MS1. These we use because they give really good protection to plant material over winter. They are not frost free, so there's no heat in here other than the ambient heat that the sun gives us. Through the winter time, they are around about plus one to plus five. So really not creating that amount of protection from the cold, but what it does do is for overwintering plant material, it protects it from the amount of rain that they would get outside. Therefore, they will survive better if they are slightly drier. So plant material we bring in, we cut it back just to half height. So we bring in all of the last few penstemons that we've got, last few dianthus, just because we get such wet, soggy winters that they really wouldn't appreciate being outside. We can hand water if we need to, should it get warmer any time. And then once we want them to go back outside, they are potted into a bigger size pot and they are taken outside, usually about March time. So they're not inside for any length of time at all. There are some very new things like this beautiful thalictrum here, Chantilly Lace, which we were supposed to launch very, very early um, in 2020. It's not gonna be available to sale until the beginning of 2021. So they were tiny little plants. They just would not survive outside, but they will be perfectly fine in here, kept dry, and then they'll come up into life next spring and look fantastic. There are things like the woody salvias here. They're brought in, as you can see, they've been cut right down just so that they are protecting their crowns. Again, they'll be kept dry. They could live outside, but it's just easier for us to have them in here. And things like the dianthus again, that's just as easy. And a few of the gray leaved things like the bolotta just sit in here they will get frosted. It gets down to at least minus five in here when we have a really cold spell outside. The other thing that we also do is we pot up our allium bulbs quite early on. They are put into their pots uh, like so. And even now there is a little bit of root on the side here. And these will sit in these trays all stacked up like this right the way through until they start to show green tops and then once that happens then they will go outside. This means that we're utilising space because obviously we're going up and not going out flat on the ground and space is of a premium during the winter inside the tunnel so the more that we can stack up and while it's dormant then the better it is for us. This is almost like walking down the grid at a Grand Prix. Here they are, they're ready to go and they're on starters orders. These are the little racing buggies except that they are electric powered, which is really, really good, but they don't go that fast because people don't hear them coming past them. So everyone drives slowly, but they carry a lot of goods. We're in the third piece of the multi-span here. So it's three tunnels all joined together. And this bit here is all full of stock plants. So the propagators have stock material of virtually everything that we grow, and they may have one plant of a certain variety, up to 15 or 20 of something else. It really depends upon how many cuttings they have got to take from those plants, how easy it is to take them, and they repot them rejuvenate these stock plants every year. Some of them are repotted twice a year, some of them are only repotted once a year, and some are only used for a year. Then they are destroyed and a brand new stock plant is started so that we've got clean stock to be able to produce all of our plants that we then sell to the general public from this area. 